Uh, right, you dead soldiers. I'm not gonna honor you for rubbing you all over my face. <laughs> hey, folks. I'm a serious JG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. And this is Let's Play Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. We've actually been away from it for a while, but thanks to the staggering of videos on the internet, for you, the memories of Big Boss rubbing dead soldiers' ashes into his face is, have only been, uh, you know, the only buffer you have is like a whole bunch of listening to plot yes. cassette tapes and stuff. Bear in mind, mm -hmm. the uh, ashes contained asses. Oh, so that's true. all of those soldiers. Giving him the stink face. Giving the stink face. <laughs> ashes to ashes. Wait, wait, wait. No, that, that's not one of the ones that. Uh, that's, that's, that's not the David Bowie song that we uh, ended up uh, getting pulled for this. By the way, folks, we were able to defeat the little dictator in off screen action. Uh, basically. That's right. The uh, um, we we we, we put this we on and then we started watching a bunch of TV and eating and uh, let the side ops or combat deployments play out. Now the little dictator was that Sun Tzu or was that Schwen? No, Sun Tzu is the little little dictator slash conqueror, depending on which the translation you're reading. <laughs> yeah, but uh, now we've started uh, tr trying to recapture the old facility with the help of paddle gear and some dudes. So that's a thing. Um, Wyatt is still our uh, our home girl here, and uh, I think we're getting very close to the end of the game, such as it is. And we need uh, there is a mission that doesn't pop unless she has maximum affinity, so it's probably a good idea to just keep using her um, pretty much all the time. And well, don't use her. Have respect for her. Of course. Her. Well, you can respect somebody and still use them. But um, we have Metallic Archaea Extreme. <laughs> which is extreme, that boss extreme, battle where Bobo was like blowing up dudes. Um, oh, yeah. But I think what we actually need to do is side ops and try to rescue more wandering mother base soldiers. Please select a landing zone. Right, they apparently have a landing zone that's way outside of the mission. Oh wait, you don't actually have a mission. Wait, set which right of these now. is the mission? Oh. I think you're just free roam landing. Yeah, okay, it's it's there. That's this this will be the best one for that. Just we just need to Africa. not get too close to that Nova Brega airport because we'll get sucked into like a three hour full clear of the airport. Yeah. It doesn't look like we took a shower after Bobo uh cleared everybody, you know, took care of all of our own soldiers and killing them. We did wash we did wash our face. Wash our face and that was about it. Uh I don't think Bobo rearmed for this that mission specifically, so we should have our normal layout. Oh, wait, I mean, you can check the layout. It was right there. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a normal layout to me. That's why I'm saying I don't think Bobo oh. rearmed. It looks like it's the regular layout. Quiet, I really appreciate your help with all those uh, you know, quarantine soldiers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Her first word. And now everybody has. Super like, dead. Yeah, super dead disease. <laughs> also, her first words, as though she were a, like, you know, a toddler. <laughs> her first words, look. No go, no go. <laughs> That's right, I'm a huge fan of F Troop. Uh, at least there is still one. Alright. I mean, I, I can't say I know very much about I've F never Troop, seen an episode of F Troop all the way I through. believe it starred Larry Storch. Yeah, and I mean, it, it kind of has a reputation as being one of the worst television shows ever. It's like Mikhail's Navy, but not as highbrow. That's the uh, airport over there that we do not want to get involved with. Oh, yeah, geez, there's a truck just driving by. La -di da Hopefully, I didn't notice this helicopter landing. Clearly, it's like, nice shot. Cody, you missed the airfield. Um. Be careful down there, boss. Be careful out amongst them English. Marker placed. Now it has. It's been a while. Mark. Oh, there's flowers all over the place, man. You gotta check this shit out, dude. Wonder if there's like mines out here. There's an awful lot of tasty, tasty plants. Yeah, it's wormwood. No, it's not what you shut up. It's not even a reference to Hamlet anymore. It's a reference to the Mystery Science Theater episode at Hamlet. The notorious K I N G. Good dream!
So I wonder if we are now slightly more noticeable to enemy soldiers um, because we have shiny, uh, shiny patches. Shiny diamond, diamond stuff, yeah. Shiny diamonds. Shine all you dead got diamonds. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, they do have that look in their eye, uh, like, black, um, well, black death, basically. The arcade player. So, uh, darned if I didn't, uh, recollect now what exactly, um, was going on with the, uh, extra mother base soldiers. I know that, uh, I know that Code Talker told us that they had, like, Snail parasites that uh, made themselves like yeah they went glow crazy and, and they then. really really wanted to get out in the sun uh, yeah so that, uh, so the, that birds the birds could, could eat, eat them, them and spread the disease and it was some kind of crazy mutation and it, there's no way that it just randomly happened and they they seemingly decided that Hal had been fucking around experimenting and maybe he didn't mean for that I really don't when anymore. You're a mission, open your eye droid and select it from the mission list. I sent a list of selectable missions to your iDroid. They're all jobs that only you can handle. But it just kind of seemed like, uh... Maybe, um... Hal was responsible. Not that he w he wasn't trying to create that situation, but he was doing unauthorized experiments and... Yeah. And created the circumstance that made that happen. Or that maybe, like, yeah, you know what, I... We, I think I gotta go back and rewatch those videos or re-listen to those tapes because they they painted Hal as being a really really bad guy, but I don't remember half the details. Yeah. Speaking of, do we have any tapes that we can be listening to as you attempt to find your I way do not into the? I think uh, we do. I think we took care of all the tapes that we had tapes. last video, but could be wrong. We don't even have any more hamburger tapes. No, I can certainly go listen to the old hamburger tapes again. Come on, all right. But there we go. Well, doctor. I have the report on the incident. So we did hear this already, but it helps yeah, Assuming what's going a vocal cord parasite evolved, I'm sorry, underwent a mutation. The only plausible explanations are exposure to some high That's concentration right. mutagen or they radiation. They thought that, uh... As you know, some of the staff at the quarantine facility were infected with the parasites. Mm -hmm. The Wolbachia prevented them from copulating, but the oh, parasites the infected themselves people? can't be removed from That's their host's me. vocal cords. Once you're infected with Skullface's parting gift... Oh, jeez, you mean his clap? The researchers regularly used x-ray equipment to monitor the parasites in their throats. Right, the okay, now there, I'm beginning they kept to a remember. close eye on the radiation doses. But that equipment didn't just give off x-rays. It was also emitting beta rays. Even though that's unnecessary for the scans. See, beta rays have far worse effects on DNA than x-rays. Meaning the only logical conclusion is that someone added in a beta ray emitter to trigger a mutation. Why? Those beta rays Why leaked out from inside that? the equipment. <laughs> because the emitter was retrofitted, the shielding was inadequate. Hmm. The person That's the target. And inspected the I remember him. He was off base during the attack nine years ago. Makes you the only Bring him home, boss. Opportunity to install that emitter. So now you're saying I sabotage medical equipment for some wild plan to make the vocal cord parasite kill everyone? Or maybe you thought it'd reveal a way to treat the parasite without using the Wolbachia. With that much to barter, I suppose some people would welcome even a pathetic cur like you. Just stop it. You'd have Good to it your buyers, mm. but most would be happy with just the parasite. You wouldn't need to offer anything else. But However, wait, there's more. <laughs> if that buyer already knew about the parasite, they'd also know that by itself, it's no longer the ultimate bargaining chip it once was. And I won't make it up with that buyer, this time. You need to throw in a bonus. And give a you one of it. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. <laughs> Emmerich. We record all communications on Mother Base. Roger. I guess we just radio get out of here right away. To and from mm -hmm. homemade devices. You've been in frequent contact with people in America. With the kids in America. Wow. A client of which is DARPA. What? And they are connected to Cypher. Cypher. Connected to Cypher. 
You offered them a new parasite in exchange Not forget, for your was it ever made um, overtly clear that um, the, vocal cord the garbage chief that was killed in Shadow Moses incident was um, Sigant? I think that like during the closing credits where there's just a bunch of like expository text in, in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, I think they pretty much tell you that. You're still a winner. This is Pequot. Have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. For exactly as long as it takes you to run 280 meters. And then I'm just gonna leave. And I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna light up the immediate surrounding <laughs> area with, uh, you know, heavy fire. Of course, I'm. That's By the way, I'm I've already set up landmines. <laughs> but the, <laughs> I, uh. I'm gonna wait as long as it takes you to run that distance on flat land. If you have to go uphill and it slows you down, I'll be long gone when you get there. Any idea why we're still doing all this, boss? It seems like we beat Skullface already. I'm looking for the ultimate blizzard flavor. <laughs> I somehow know it's going to be here on the plains of Africa. Boss, why don't we plan? Hey, boss, nice to have you plan. Boss, why don't we plan to go after those kids who stole Metal Gear? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Boss, who will win the match? <laughs> boss, I know that you wanted to main event WrestleMania, but I think you had a great year, and I'm so proud to be your girlfriend. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> Side up, so under them both capturing wandering middle deer soldiers. I mean, I'm um, other base soldiers. <laughs> you seem to say that with a certain amount of sarcasm. <laughs> Gee, I wonder, right? Uh, I mean, on here. so where did we figure, um, figure out? Th isn't, um, where is, uh, uh um, Pache? Medical, yeah, I think she's on the medical Heading platform. To mother base. Her paws. Paws, not Pache. Paws. Pause me. means peace in made up language. Well, that's actually, I think it's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably not made up language so much. Now, you were telling me about how you were listening last night to the accept the speech of Donald Trump, but. We don't need, we need to I build a wall from these people that are coming in here with their made up language. Oh man, see, it doesn't matter where you say you're gonna land, you always get forced to land here and shoot up or not having. I think this is more of a you haven't played the game in a couple of weeks, JG. What's going on? Yeah. Well, that would explain it. Sorry. Guess I've been away a while. Don't be such a stranger. Such a bad example for the men. Do you feel like also, they're entitled to have lives outside of this video game? Also, all of your food spoils. <laughs> Come on, Dee. Come on, Dee. Let's go make the world safe for LBGT people. That's right. They too deserve not to be attacked by terrorists. The crowd doesn't know whether to applaud the ocelot or not. Sorry, still think about Trump. Well, hell, As I this, always am. Hell, when this game came out, you know, still a reality TV star. Well, no, this was before he was a reality TV star. When this game, well, I guess, came out, I'm more or less. So, you start getting posters of Pause. Pause, pause posters. Like, here's Pause as some kind of Japanese singing idol. Yes. And then you just walk by the shower. I know. There's something. <laughs> you want to sneak up to on see. this poster here? Oh well, with the way. Okay, so you can't really see it at all now. There's because like adorable foxes over there. Oh, she's lying. She's lying with a bunch of stuffed animals. She's in pajamas with. Little girl horizontal. Well, I guess it's not. Michael girl horizontal. I guess it's not creepy if it's supposed to be girls looking at that and thinking she's. Cute. Vertical. Yeah, I mean it's a horizontal poster of idle of idle, but idle needs to keep it up. So yeah, you should use the vertical poster. Makoto. Now Makoto is encouraged by idle to, keep, to it keep it up. I agree. So you gotta get it straight. But definitely, I'm screwing it up. I know. You're as confused about them as you are about Please the Heavenly Bodies. A delivery point. That would be a creepy name for that tag team to have. <laughs> Makoto and Igle, the Heavenly Bodies. I think this is not the medical, this is the... I think... Well... Zoom out. 
That's the base development, okay. Yeah. Which go. one is she actually on? I don't know. I thought she was at the, the medical, medical platform. It would make sense for her to be there. It would make sense for her to be there. They keep all the ladies together. Well, I know that she's at the same place Quiet is. It doesn't make... I don't necessarily know why Quiet was being held any prison cell at the medical platform, but... Uh, they were doing... Uh, nobody has some in this box. I'm sneaking reason. around my own face. It's <laughs> like, she don't let the boss know that we all know he's in there. Back, boss. We put on the Spandau Ballet. It's time to jam out. <laughs> I don't think words be a soldier. What? It's time to jam out. I don't think words be a soldier. Now they can rest in peace. Where are you? Thank you for crushing my out, my comrades. Where are you? I want to like hug you after saying that. That's such a boring thing to say. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna wander in a box <laughs> in here too. Uh, hang on, pause. I don't think you can press a button while you're in this. I can't walk in. Because you can't equip the box with a uh, poster, so I can't walk up to pause with a pause poster. Oh, Snake! You terrified me. Oh, yep. you showered. Thank you, Snake. What is it, Snake? What you got, boy? <laughs> Nate, why are you trying oh, to jog my memory betraying you? He is so cute. Nuke? Just I haven't seen him around lately. Where did he get to? I guess he was like he a pet. He is the official mascot of Mother Base, so he should show his face a little more. Eric is such a bad example for the memory not around. I saw Miller feeding Nuke when no one was looking. Oh, that's a great secret. <laughs> You're a great Come storyteller. Here. Come here. Come here, kitty kitty. Come here. Nuke? Nuke. Nuke has a low intelligence stat, but she does have oh, um, my head. good patrol uh, abilities. Yes, and she'd be she'd be formidable in a duel. Yeah. But if she's going to be a domestic or primarily like town-based domestic officer, it doesn't seem like that would necessarily happen a lot. No, we're we're talking about RTK stuff. Don't worry about it. Ever did. We're talking about RTK stuff that hasn't even come to pass. Yeah. The time that we're recording this. Right. So, Lord knows when it will actually come up. So we did get a new Paz's diary. The whole base is busy getting ready for peace day. Miller has finished writing his song, so I went with Professor Galvez to listen to it. Miller was really into it, humming away as he played the song on his acoustic guitar. But the song melody did not match up with the guitar chords at all, and it sounded more like a mess than music. It didn't match up with the chords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fantastic, but I think he's tone deaf. Oh, I guess uh. the guitar backing sounded good at least. But as I was wondering how to break it to Miller, Professor Galvez took out an odd instrument. <clears throat> it was just two antennas sticking out of a box, more like a radio than a musical instrument. He said it was invented by the Soviets. But why would Professor Galvez own a Soviet Russian instrument? In Soviet Russia, instruments on you! <laughs> I was going to say that instrument well, plays you, but yeah. yeah. Good music is something people of any nation can appreciate. Except for the dirty French! And just make music together. Yeah. But anyway, the like professor that. offered to try playing the melody on his instrument in time with Miller's guitar. Hey, it's double J Jeff Jarrett's theme music. Miller's guitar backing really well. He even gave the song a charming down home kind of feeling. You know, like when you're hanging out at your home and all of a sudden you're. It sounded totally different from when he sang it. But he's hearing the professor's version. Hit me with the oh wow, I was like, down. yeah, you're like Phoenix there yeah, for like a minute. Aerostar I style. I did not know whether to scream or to run out of the room. So I did both. There was only one week left until peace day. So. Time to get a helicopter coming before we get a uh, content match. Content match here. Roger. And hand it over to Phobo, probably. This is Arriving shortly at it's 
so these peace day tapes basically consist of us finding out that Paz is totes of dorbs. And, um, Miller's a bit of a creep. And that Professor Galvez is a traitor, so look out! <laughs> yeah, keep an eye out for, like, uh, snakes. <laughs> no, I was, I was thinking more like, um, Code Talker sitting on, like, the roof of a building, <laughs> some place that you can't reach. Keep an eye out, make sure there's no that. kids jumping into the chlorine death pit. No, oh, that's right, they are, they're gone, they stole Metal Gear. <laughs> I also need to keep an eye out looking for where Metal Gear is stored. No, I guess I've got to. Expand a fob so that it can contain more keys. <laughs> yeah. So, we got about nine minutes left in the video. You can. You may be able to actually finish a mission or just get started, but we gotta okay. go through rewards and shit first, you know. Oh, absolutely. Actually, by the time you do um, mission deployments and stuff, it might be just time to call this video it's slightly shorter. Yeah, if you like. Oh, right, whatever. Let's so, let's go to deployment then. Please select a we are mission. still looking to recapture the oil field facility, but the other ones are... Just, I basically just look for anything which gives you gives potential you reward of flame, and then... If we don't have any of those, just, you know, any other kind of resource. Go ahead and knock out that last one there. What, uh, munitions, munitions thing, yeah. Oh, that's one wood. D, D through E warriors are probably good enough. What's that? D through E warriors are probably good enough, because you can save uh, your good people for... Oh, no, actually, they're horrible. Um, this I, I guess is eight horrible. Plus, eight plus, then you'd want... Unit dispatched. And we can either just not deploy anybody else, or we can just send them out on plant gathering missions with A difficulty, <laughs> or just shitty short missions, so that they're back in time for other stuff. Yeah, this is a plant gathering mission with 15% uh, losses of A plus soldiers, so this one, I don't know if the rewards are worth it. Now, see, this seems like it could be good. Probably difficult, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know where we're picking up these E warriors. The oh, GMP thanks. ones might be the best at this point. Like a cargo transport for EM GMP. Yeah, you know what? That might be worth it because. Never have enough GMP. Unit dispatched. Oh, that's what we haven't done in a while. It's actually um, spent gone anything. Mid-mission shopping. Please yep. specify a project. We could uh, further develop the water pistol. We could. Um, let's see here. We could get in order to upgrade our stun thing anymore we'd need to at this point we'd need to actually expand the base. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Or just get a bunch of S warriors. I doubt we're close enough that we can just tweak it and get uh by reassigning our current personnel get to those high levels. Yeah. It might be fun to get a better grenade launcher. I'll just go back to the ones that we can actually develop and see if there's anything cool there. Alright. Where's the back button? L1, or yeah, circle, I guess. Please specify a project. Here. Zorn KP is some kind of. Grenade pistol? Yeah, grenade pistol. That might be fun. Um, um, is it any better or worse than the Uragon, which is probably also. Oh no, it's. Uragon fires shotguns. Held shotgun. This is a handheld grenade launcher. It would decrease range and grouping, but it would do a lot more damage than our current grenade launcher. I think I, I think the grenade launcher I have now is the one where I just, I, I tried to go for the one with the best possible range. Yeah. I don't use machine guns much, but you can get shorty. Sure. Now here are the grenade launchers, and the thing is, 
with all of these here, I can't really tell what it is that we've got versus... We have the one that's on the left of that row, but we have a different version of it. So is this a worse version, version or better This version? is just a different link on the same development tree. You got the hey There is a, uh, that's odd that there's a, uh, sniper rifle, uh, suppressed sniper rifle, or, um, but crank sniper rifle we haven't developed, but it's probably... Because we got off of the rev knob and are now using something else. Yeah. I mean, there comes a point where you're just developing stuff just to try to, like, develop everything. It's not necessarily you're going to use them. Decoy? We haven't done much with decoys. Yeah, I mean, we've developed decoys. Stun decoys, active decoys, bait bottle, enemy bait, grumble grumble. Hmm. We can improve our stun grenades. Oh, that, that uses fuel resources. resources. That uses up fuel for resources. I don't really feel like spending any of that right now. Right. You get lots of different exciting boxes, boxes. New cigars. Drugs. We don't really use drugs. No. We we keep clean. We keep our temple clean. Now you got a parasite suit, but you have to use... You have to go out and do missions and get parasites in order to use it. And Find all it's something data. we should probably showcase before the LP is over. But I might like off-screen get some parasites to use. You might, yeah. Your body I might go might out there and get some parasites. parasites. We'll go over to the boxes. You're supposed to be able to develop boxes uh, so that you can have like girly posters on them. I don't know how That's you do important. that. Like how you customize them. Oh, you know what? I guess you might actually do that in customize as opposed to. Developing them as though it was a technology, Wolfman Jack or otherwise. Stealth camo PP. That would be especially for goofing around with. Oh, uh, this is for cheating. Yeah, basically, but um, I mean for side ops and shit where you're not getting scored anyway. It might be fun. Requires minor metals. Is that okay. Not for, yeah, not. I think we do need minor metals to finish up some stuff, but it doesn't require a full ton of them. Alright. Okay. Do you want me to research? Yeah, it? sure. be fun. Alright, and that pretty much takes us up to the end of the video anyway. So why don't we call it a video now? And uh, when we come back, Bobo will go find more uh, wandering Ooh, mother soldiers. On the Mysterious JG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you'll come back next time as we rub your ashes on our face. Bye.